Hello everyone, in this video I will do room network analysis malware compromise. Important to challenge rooms on virtual machine because a lot of downloaded files are malicious. Scenario, a SOC analyst at Umbrella Corporation is going through SIM alerts and sees the alert for connection to a known malicious domain. The traffic is coming from Sarah's computer, an accountant who receives a large volume of emails from customers daily. Looking at the email gateway logs for Sarah's mailbox, there is nothing immediately suspicious with emails coming from customers. Sarah is contacted via her phone and she states a customer sent her an invoice that had a document with a macro. She opened the email and the program crashed. The SOC team retrieved a pickup for further analysis. So first step is to download the file. You need to have uh, installed Wireshark on your system, Windows, Linux, Mac, whatever you are using. And here basically Sarah's computer was infected via phishing email which contained malware. Opening the pickup file. Here is the password. Go to the statistic organization to see what are our traffic and we can see here that we have a lot of traffic from this IP 10 11 to other IPs and if you look on a scenario the traffic is coming from Sarah's computer, an accountant who receives a large volume of email from customers daily. We can see that our infected host is this one. Because there is a lot of traffic between this IP and another IPs. How we can be sure 100% that this host is infected? Another hint is on the question 4. The SOC team found Ritex, a follow-up malware, from Urnsif infection to be a culprit. Ritex is primarily spread through malicious emails, attachments and the macros embedded in Microsoft Office documents. Ritex TLS certifies have valid country names and, uh, capped and locked up locality names. So moving on the this site, Wireshark filter for SSL traffic. We can see that we have here for SSL handshake type and for uh, we just need to change that to TSL. So this is for the certificate and this is for the server hello done. And that means we can use this command or this command. I will lose for now 11. As we can see here, server key is changed, is changed, is changed. Move to the server hello down to see the results. Traffic coming from this IP to infected host. We go to the certificate to see the city. Signet certificate, signature, issuer, here should be IP, but I don't see it now, signature. Maybe here. Yes, here is the here is the country name. It means the CUA, this is the Uruguay, and the locality name is Montevideo, so that is true. And this proves that the this is 3 post infection traffic IP and the infected host is 
10, 11, 27, 101. So we have the first first answer and we have the last answer. What is the DS post infection traffic IP address it beginning with 8, 185? It means this is and we have uh, now to do the second question third and fourth what is the malware binary that the macro document is trying to retrieve this will do later from what domain http requests with get images are coming from using the command get http request method get and go to the images and they saying us from what domain HTTP request on the hypertext protocol. We can see here the host is cocrimato.com. And you can see here cocrimato.com images. What is the malware binary that macro document is trying to retrieve? The answer is here on the first spec 10. The SOC team found Redex, a follow up malware from Moonis infection to be corporate to the customers who sent her the macro file is compromised. What's the full URL ending in RAR? Where Unsniff retrieves the follow up malware from? If you can see here, we're getting the RAR file, and here is the full request URL. And you can go here, export objects, data, in case here all file names and that will be all for this room i hope so that you enjoy the video and thank you for the watching